You know, we've covered quite the cast of misfits on this channel over the years. It's a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine to see what people are up to, what they're willing to do, what lengths they'll go to for a little drop of internet clout or trying to farm some follows somehow. You got Nasty Nas curating skits with homeless people to make himself look virtuous in order to go viral. You got those 16-year-old broads that got in a rollover, flipped their car accident and immediately pulled out their phone and made a TikTok. And then you got those Listerine chugging Neanderthals and the rest of the insufferable Instagram crew that I'll, I'll spare you the recap. But occasionally, something will grace my inbox and I'll check it out. And this is the case here with Aristotle Gold. He's a TikToker, 350,000 followers, just about. Zero following, follows nobody, because that's just the type of player that he is. But I think he's like relentlessly trying to exploit his abusive relationship with his mother. To go viral? <laughs> Make this viral so I can get famous and move out. Okay. Let's do what we can. Oh, this, this girl's gonna come over around eight. Yeah, a girl's coming over to my house? Well, yeah, not. Another fat chick? Is that why you were trying to, uh, to unfasten a bra or put she's, on a bra? Is she, that what that was your plan? She's not, she's not fat. No? no? Listen, I don't want my house to smell like fish again. Last Ooh. time you had that fat broad over. All right? This is hey, disgusting me? of you. Wow! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? My house is not a fucking warehouse. You, you, you're a fat f Who do you think you're going to get anyway? What do you think? You think you're going to get some pussy? You're not going to get any fucking pussy. All right? Grow up. Grow up and get a job instead of planning these these stupid rendezvous where that are gonna materialize into nothing! Nothing! Do you still love me? What? What the fuck? Well, I never! Oh! This mom needs to find Jesus! So you got a job? I did, right? Finally. Yeah. How much are you making? Fourteen. An hour. Okay. You fing ass. I wiped my ass with fourteen dollars. Okay? You think you accomplished something? What? I got a, I got a job. Oh please, you fucking loser! Fourteen dollars an hour? Give me a fucking break. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot going through my head here watching these. Just a couple right off the bat. Just. A lot going through my mind. First of all, 3.4 million views on that one. One of his many videos of his mom berating him that's gone viral. Secondly, are these skits? Is mom dead ass with how she's acting right now? Or is it maybe a little bit of both and Aristotle's leaning into it because it, it goes viral and he's trying to catch that wave of TikTok clout because of his abusive mother or some shit. I don't, I don't know, but I have to, I have to know what's going on. Here. Apparently on TikTok, it gets hella views because it's TikTok and that is the epicenter of the dumbest shit ever going viral. But you don't want that to be the thing that builds your brand, do you? I just, I mean, the years I spent building this YouTube channel, I have dealt with relentless verbal abuse from Nigel, but I've never shown that because that's not what I want to be known for. Oh, shut up, you fat magenta face bitch. Do you think I'm mean to you? Excuse me? Are you not even the least bit self aware that this channel was built with these oh smooth ass baby hands and you're just a pre diabetic me? blowhard placeholder for when I travel the world to get my fix of exotic monkey pussy? Seriously, you're like one kitty sized ice cream cone away from a massive cardiac event, you hypertensive dick. Just shut up! So we're gonna dig a little deeper into that to see if we can find out what's going on. But before we do that, by the grace of His Holiness, this video is sponsored and I got sponsorship Leon in the next room doing some cleaning. I gotta see if I can get his attention to, to do the read. Leon! What was that? Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you over the buttery, smooth frequency response I've been experiencing from these everyday E25s that happen to be tickling my ear holes as we speak. Now, if you've been here more than a minute, you know that Raycon and I we're buddies, because they hook it up with these discreet wireless earbuds that are fly as hell, they sound tremendous, and they are half the price of comparable premium brands. Not only do they have a noise isolating fit, but they deliver an impressive bass response for earbuds that are this sleek. The Bluetooth pairing is a breeze and the case is a wireless charger. So you get days of heavy use before ever having to plug in, which is perfect for me when I get carried away dusting in the next room. Man, I've been using the Everyday E25 since 2019, and I love them. Listen, if you're in the market for some new wireless earbuds and you want to give them a shot, you can get 15% off your very own pair by using my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush 
you get a hold of your very own pair of Raycons today. Thank you, Raycon, for the support. Thank you guys for the love. I appreciate you. Now, what I like to do is go all the way back to the beginning where it all started, which for Aristotle was only two months ago. February 15th, his first post. But as you watch the progression, it helps paint a better picture of what's really going on. All right, guys. I hope Instagram doesn't flag this video. I'm about to show you how I beat my meat. So get some moisturizer and tissues ready because it's about to get wild. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute shenanigans in his first TikTok. I love it. Showed real promise, but then in the second TikTok. Alright, mom. What? I want you to read this out loud fast. Some nonsense? No, just it's it's good. Amen Sofa Kim stupid. I am Sophie King stupid. I am Sofa King stupid. <laughs> He gets right into the young kid messing with his boomer mom shtick comedy, right? The proven formula that Lance Stewart's been doing for 10 years. That's crazy. Try it out. Put your hand, you feel it? Still worthy of 100 billion laughing till I'm crying emojis and the Instagram comments apparently. Goes right after it. There's nothing different. They're two identical pictures. What are you doing? going to scare the piss out of her. I know it. So harassing mom is good family fun. It begins to work out. The views start coming a little bit. And mom's boisterous personality with all her swear words. Hilarious, entertaining. We love it. It's cute to begin with. It's cute, you know? How you doing? This is Big Bertha. I'm looking for a guy that's sweet and salty and knows how to party. Yeah. Dips his toes in the shenanigans once again, but realizes this isn't what he's good at. He's better at having a mom that screams swears at him. So two TikToks later, his first viral. Ask you a question. What? What weighs more, 200 pounds of feathers or 200 pounds of bricks? 200 pounds of bricks. Wrong. Think again. They're both 200 pounds. Feathers and 200 pounds Come of on, That's dude. the question. Wrong with you. Weighs more than a feather. 200 pounds of bricks. You're wrong. Okay. Yes, they weigh the same. If this is 100 pounds of feathers and this is 100 pounds of bricks and I hit you with the bricks, what's going to happen? I'm going to kick your ass so badly it's going to come out your mouth. That's what's going to happen. Answer the question, you stupid moron, you dickless prick. I'm sorry, did she call him a dickless prick? <laughs> what weighs more? 200 pounds of feathers? Are feather? you stupid? What? what weighs more, a brick or a feather? A brick weighs more than a feather. 200 pounds of feathers or 200 pounds of bricks? 200 and 200, okay? They're each 200, they weigh the same. What the Ooh. f*** is wrong with you, can't you think? Get those cobwebs out of your head. What are you doing? You so they weigh the same? So nine TikToks in, he strikes gold, and he has found his niche. Verbally abusive mom. And what else is there to do except rinse and repeat and watch the views start pouring in, baby? You should feel pretty dumb. Why? Because you can't do math. Where did you go to Quit school, maths. you fucking moron? <laughs> if he distributed that money to every person in the United States, it would amount to a dollar fifty a person. You are so fucking stupid, I've met rocks smarter than you. Rock! Mom gets heated again. Another banger. Mom. What? Are you happy for me? Happy for you? Why, are you going to tell me you got a job? No, I just went viral on TikTok, Mom. I got 1.6 million views. Ooh, 13.1 now, boy. What does that mean for you? Is there any money in the bank? Are you contributing to the food bill? Filming these ridiculous videos with your fat self, okay? Is that what's going to happen? What's gonna happen? I'm gonna get famous, Mom. You're gonna get famous when yeah. you get famous, let me know, okay? But in the meantime, get a f***ing job! I'm sick and tired of this! I'm really, really sick and tired of I'm this! I'm gonna be famous, Mom. Just keep on screaming and keep on demeaning me. We make a good team, you and I. So he's figured out his pillar content, right? But if Mom's busy, he's still gonna keep the TikToks coming. Fans have no chill. They want content and they want it now. So, you know. My swag, they keep jacking. Keep on I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're not happy being single, you'll never be happy in a relationship. Learn to love yourself, and the rest will follow. Okay, shut, shut up, shut up, shut. Quite frankly, I was a little worried about the abusive mom shtick at first, as you saw. But if this is the alternative, I miss mom already. What's going on, guys? Aristotle Gold here. So I started this weight loss transformation um, in honor of Transformation Tuesday. I wanted to document. I started about four months ago. What you oh, this is going to go well. Lost, documenting my weight loss for Transformation Tuesday. What weight loss? What weight loss? Ow! Take a look at that. That looks like crap. Lost, Doesn't look... 
I like it's just it's convenient that mom always just happens to be like lurking six or seven feet away every time he's trying to make a personal TikTok with his audience. There's mom. Definitely not planned. Definitely not. I lost 30, 30 pounds since the beginning of the, uh, beginning of the year. I lost? Uh, where, did it, where did you lose it? In your thumb? Are you going to lose more? You're going to lose more? You need to lose at least another 200 pounds. It's not funny anymore, okay? Everybody, everybody on the internet knows. Have you talked to me? I don't give a shit. Let them suck my dick. So if he really wanted to do a transformation update about his weight loss without mom berating him, right? He, he could have found a place to do it without her being right there. But that's not what gets the view. So so to purposely do this and get and get your mother involved, it makes sense. But you're also taking something that is is kind of a kind of a shitty thing, kind of like something that a lot of kids, a lot of kids around the world deal with constantly, which is inept parents that absolutely demean and berate and treat their kids like shit and create a lifetime of problems for them. You really want to use that as the catalyst for how you try and get internet famous? Like you want that correlation? You want that to be your niche? Your niche? I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're worth it. Oh, you're God. beautiful, you're oh. handsome, you're amazing. You can do anything you put your mind to. So don't give up. Today could be the day you win. Oh boy, starting to miss mom again. This is such a toxic relationship. Be proud of yourself. I'm sorry you were experiencing this abusive behavior. You don't deserve that from anyone, especially your mom. Well, I do agree with that. I also think he's purposely perpetuating it because it's getting views on TikTok. So you can see where I'm conflicted here. If this is real, I'm sorry, it's okay. Misery loves company. So a lot of people are questioning whether it's real or not with, with, with good reason. How much are you making? 14. An hour. Okay. You f***ing asshole. I wiped my ass with $14. No way that if you don't have your phone out making a TikTok and you tell your mother you got a job genuinely and it's between you two, that she responds that same exact way. No way. But the way she acts and the way she's able to do what she does for TikTok leads me to believe that there is a pretty huge element of this in your actual relationship outside of this social media machine of mental abuse that you've created for yourself. Ma, that's olive oil. What? That's olive oil. They said the car needed oil. It said oil. Does it matter what kind? Yeah, yeah Ma. I can't use olive oil with oil. So you have these mother-son skits like that one that make you feel like it's lighthearted and fun. And I call it a skit because I don't believe that any man, woman, or child doesn't know that you don't put olive oil in a car. I refuse to believe that. But then you have ones like this. Do you have any food at the house, Mom? You know what? This is the last straw. I'm calling Jenny Craig. I'm going to tell them to come find you and put you on a fat farm, you fat bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to... I didn't expect to laugh at this one, but that's just the, the delivery on that. The delivery was... <laughs> I know. It's fake, real. I don't know what's going on anymore, but the delivery, mom, she plays the part pretty well, let's be honest. You never stop eating! Take your wine. Take your wine, because you're always drinking. Take, the, take your wine. Very self-conscious, and now you can see why. Like, he's using that with all of the correct hashtags to try and go viral. It's just, like, it seems so... It seems so scummy. But then there's the cute and funny ones, though, too. You know, Mom, you're such a boomer, and it's 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 great. So I just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm emotionally torn here. So all of this has happened in the course of like a month or five weeks, and then COVID-19 hits, and it's quarantine time, and it, it just starts to spiral out of control, and he uploads a lot. I mean, look at this. He's uploading not, Jesus, this is all in like a month. Okay, you're not going to get famous. Nothing's going to happen here but waste of time, okay? Lose some weight, get a real job, and get a real life. It's my dream, Mom. It, Shut up! It's a dream? To use your mom's abhorrent behavior to help you go TikTok viral? I mean, whatever happened to kids dreaming about growing up to be a doctor or an athlete or some shit. This is a whole new world we're dealing with. And of course the caption is, if this video doesn't go viral, I might just give up TikTok. I get too many hate messages, FYP for you, for you page trending viral. Ma, how many likes do I have to get to for you to go to therapy with me? 100,000. He's built up this narrative of verbal and mental abuse and now he's taking it and trying to lob it at his audience and put the onus on them that they have to like the video 
in order to help him go to therapy with his mom. This shit is bananas in I hate it. I fucking hate it. This is this this is this this is the part about social fuck fucking hate social media. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. But I also I also hate it. So you all have been asking me. So let's clear some things up. Let's set the record straight. Are my videos real? Does my mom actually talk like this? Yes. Why do I film it? To raise awareness. Also, the only videos of me that go viral of her yelling. Ah, so he's claiming that it's real, but also he's also admitting that he, he does it because the only videos that go viral are of his mother screaming. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want this video to come off as me trivializing or downplaying uh, this type of mental or this pervasive abuse between, you know, a parent child dynamic. But it also bothers me that he's commoditizing this familial emotional abuse, this toxic dynamic between him and his mother. He's packaging it up into this neat little TikTok and just uploading them one after the other to farm likes and views and desperately trying to go viral by emotionally manipulating his audience, I think, to an extent. But I am definitely past the point of being surprised by stuff like this. I mean, it's the internet, and the internet always wins. If riding the coattails of your emotionally abusive parent all the way to TikTok fame uh, is the new wave, then hang 10, baby. I pray that you guys are doing well, and I wish you nothing but X's and O's and good tidings, and I also wish that you would urgently remove your pants and your underwears and feverishly hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. So guys, just a quick note to end the video. I just finished editing, and uh, I realized that throughout the video, I'm mostly talking about this dude uh, and being critical of, of what he's doing. And I make some jokes, and I laugh at the dynamic between him and his mother. Because to me, especially while watching it initially, it felt mostly contrived, like a lot of it was a performance, and I still do think that. But if we are to believe that this is truly how his mother acts and really how she treats him off camera or assuming that this is just candid and he's catching her in the act and he's insinuating that she has a drinking problem, etc. cetera. Uh, if we were to believe that is true, then I can't stress enough uh, how big of a human bag of waste this woman is. Uh, and, I, and I do hope that this dude can somehow find a support system in his life uh, to help him get out of that disaster. So just wanted to make that note.